Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my 32 week pregnancy update. We're getting, we're getting close guys. It's getting real. Um, so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Linny. This is baby number two for my husband and I. We have conceived both of our children through a fertility treatment known as IVF, which is in vitro fertilization. And yeah, we're very excited. We're getting close. And let's just get right into this update. So today I am exactly 32 weeks and two days pregnant. This week, baby is the size of a squash, cotton candy, a jacama, which, is that an onion? I'm not even sure. I don't know that I've ever had a jacama. <laughs> and then a Florida pomelo, which I don't believe I've ever had a pomelo either, so not quite sure if I'm pronouncing that one right either. A lion cub, which either a lion cub seems big to me or I guess I didn't realize that lion cubs were so small <laughs> honeydew which that makes a lot of sense to me honeydew seems pretty accurate and a Polly Pocket adventure play set which I'm wondering now if my mom still has my Polly Pockets I'm gonna have to ask her my daughter would love those but anyways, baby is weighing in at about three and three-fourth pounds and about 16 and three-quarters long. So baby's growing. I'm assuming that this baby's probably bigger than the average just because my family tends to make bigger babies. My daughter was a bigger baby, so I don't know. We'll see. Weight gain this week. So when I hopped on the scale, I weighed 161.2, which means I gained two pounds this week. And I have gained a total of 35 pounds this pregnancy. I feel like we've been doing a lot more lately, like going out more. Like we've had, we had my birthday party this past week. So like I obviously ate way too much that day. We went to my little niece's birthday party and I ate way too much there too. <laughs> so that may have that may have added to the pounds that I've gained this week, but we'll see. I'm aiming for 40 pounds, but I'm already at 35. So I have eight more weeks. <laughs> Hopefully I don't gain two pounds a week because that would be really bad. For my symptoms this week, so nothing really crazy. My uterus feels extremely heavy. Like this baby just feels like it weighs a lot already. So I'm like constantly out of breath or like can't catch my breath. Um, I also have been like if I eat too much, I start to feel really nauseous because my stomach's probably being squished. So my lungs are being squished, my stomach's being squished. I'm constantly having to pee, so I'm pretty sure my bladder's being squished at this point. Pregnancy is just so glamorous. Um, getting on and off the bed has become like a workout for me. Our bed is really high. Um, and I'm not like very tall. I'm 5'4". It is like a serious workout trying to roll on and off the bed every single day. God forbid I have to get up and pee in the middle of the night because there's no chance that I'm not waking my husband up. So, sorry babe. Yeah, basically it's just getting really hard to move and to think that I still have eight more weeks to go is crazy to me that like and I'm only gonna get bigger at this point it's crazy like I'm already having problems moving uh, baby also feels really bony like I'm feeling like elbows to the rib cage like it feels bony like I just feel little hard spots all over my stomach like where this baby's laying 
I'm really interested in knowing like what position this child is in. I am pretty sure baby's head down based on when it gets the hiccups. It is like low in my crotch. Um, but I just don't know how it's like little limbs are all folded up based on the movements that I feel and the, like the little body parts that I poke. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see when I go in for my ultrasound around, I believe around 37 weeks, I'll have another ultrasound just because my babies tend to be a bit on the bigger side and I'm going for a V-back this time. So we want to try to stay close to eight pounds if I can. My doctor would like less than eight pounds, but um, like I said, I make bigger babies, so we'll see. Cravings, so I've definitely been craving the pumpkin cream cold brew every day. I am so guilty that I get that pumpkin cream cold brew. How much does it cost by you, guys? So by me, I'm here in Ohio, in, around the Cleveland area. Um, if I get a grande, it is four twenty-five. If I get the venti, which I know I shouldn't, but some days, let's be honest, the venti's calling my name. So the venti is four seventy-five, which too is like is only fifty cents more for like twice the amount of coffee. And it's just so good. Like it's a dessert to me. When I <clears throat> when I order my pumpkin cream cold brew, I do get it with sugar-free vanilla just because I'm trying to watch my sugar intake. Sugar tends to make you have a bigger baby, is what my doctor said. So I'm trying to watch my sugar intake. So I do do the sugar-free vanilla, which I don't even think you could tell the difference, honestly but it is just so good. I'm obsessed with it. I really wanted to get the, it is, is it a caramel? It's like some sort of caramel frappuccino. It's one of their fall drinks as well. But when I looked at the carbohydrates and the sugar, they're just, it's so much that I just could not bring myself to even get the grande. I think in the grande, it was like probably majority of their frappuccinos at Starbucks are above 60 grams of sugar, which is like insane. That is a lot of sugar. So no frappuccinos for me. Have I been craving anything else? I've just been craving sweets like crazy. Like I could just eat a whole cake. I literally had to talk myself out of eating brownies for breakfast the one day. Guys, it's bad. <laughs> And that may be where the two pounds this week came from, but all oh, the sweets, they will definitely get me. My sleep has been, <laughs> it's been, it's been as good as it's going to be with eight weeks left, right? I, can't, I really can't complain. It, it hasn't been too terrible. My gender guess this week Everybody that guesses has guessed boy. There's only been a handful of people that have guessed girl. Um, you know, based on all the old wives tales. Um, and I did a video for that. If you guys missed it, go back and check it out. So when I did the video, it came back that I was going to be having a boy. I think if I would have done it with my daughter, it probably would have said boy as well. But I'm going to go with boy, which I've guessed boy this whole time. But I've also said that I, I like won't be surprised if it's a girl. With my daughter, I would have been shocked if they would have told me she was a boy. I like 90% was sure positive she was going to be a girl. I don't have that strong feeling. Like I wish I did. I wish I could say I really, truly felt very strongly that it was a boy or a girl, but I just don't. But I'm going to guess boy again. I'm probably just going to continue on the boy trend this whole time, but I mean, why? What's going to change my mind? I've had dreams both ways, so I think I've had two dreams at this point that it was a girl and two dreams that it was a boy. <laughs> 
so I have no idea. Movement. So, baby's been moving around like crazy. I'm feeling it when I'm standing up now. I'm, like I said, feeling like bones or limbs all the time. Some of the movements actually are quite painful. And I do remember asking my doctor when I was pregnant with my daughter if it was possible to be like internally bruised because she was kicking me so hard in the same spot every day. So I haven't gotten to that point yet. I'm sure we'll get there as this baby continues to grow. But feeling a ton of movement. It is my favorite part. I'm trying to enjoy it, though it's painful at times. It's so cool to like watch your belly move and just to think that you have a human in there is so wild to me. Baby items. So this is new. I changed it from maternity clothes to baby items since at this point I'm probably done purchasing maternity clothes. But I did pick up a few baby items, clothes specifically. So, of course, we don't know what we're having, so I had to go gender neutral. This I got from Kohl's, so it's Winnie the Pooh onesie. It came with this little hat and these little matching pants. So this will work for boy or girl. Um, and I got it in size newborn because I don't have, like, a ton of gender neutral clothes still, even though we didn't find out with my daughter either. I have mostly like sleepers, so I thought this was really cute. And then I got another one, it's very similar. Um, this one is Dumbo, and again it came with a cute little hat and matching little pants. And I got this one in newborn as well. So there's that. These are from Kohl's. Um, I'm sure they were very inexpensive. I don't have the receipt and these don't have tags so I cannot tell you but I never shop at Kohl's unless I have a 30% off coupon and I always buy sale items so I'm gonna guess they were probably like around seven ish dollars and then I picked up this little sleep set so this is just red and white striped and then the other side is like Christmas Santa themed. It says ho ho ho. Pretty gender neutral. Um, I got it from Carter's. It retails at $28. Everything was 50% off in the store. So, you know, got it for $14. Am I doing math correctly? I don't know. But I got this in a three month because, like I said, I do have bigger babies or tend to. So, I, the newborn clothes won't fit long. Um, and then this is from Walmart. I loved it because it's fleece. It gets really cold here in the winter. I also got this in zero to three months. It's got these cute little like lambs on the feet. And then it just has like wood, woodland animals. Really just random animals. Like there's a bear, a giraffe, a turtle, a sheep, like very random. Um, and this was from Walmart. Like I said, it was $7.44. It was not on sale. But we'll probably be living in sleepers <laughs> throughout the winter and most of our, uh, yeah, winter months here. It is extremely cold. And then, so this I got. I could not pass it up. It is from Kohl's. Yes, it is for a little girl. It is newborn and I'm due October 30th. I'm hoping I don't go into November, but this I bought in case we do have a little girl. This will be her going home outfit. I still need to get like some little black newborn leggings. This is from Carter's. It was $16. So again, everything was 50% off. So I paid like eight bucks for it. Look at how stinking cute. It is just so tiny. Like, it is the cutest little thing. I love it. So now I have to find... They did not have, like, any super cute boy Halloween outfits. Or, like, fall-ish outfits. So 
Now I'm in search for a boy, like Halloween outfit. If you guys know of any stores that have like any really cute ones that are inexpensive, that I'll be able to return in case I need to, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. So that's all I picked up. I really haven't, I feel like I haven't bought a ton of stuff for this baby, which is fine. It's good. Like I'm trying to save my money here, but I, when the baby comes, I'm sure I'm going to be online in the hospital searching for clothes because my daughter was a summer baby. So even if we have a girl, she's going to need a whole new wardrobe. So I've kind of tried to refrain from buying a ton of clothes just because we don't know what we're having. And the gender neutral clothes don't tend to be the cutest, to be honest with you. So just holding off for now. Best moment of the week was probably celebrating my birthday with my family. My mom had everybody over last Saturday, um, last week last weekend for my birthday so that was really fun like I said we went to my niece's birthday actually yesterday that was really fun um there wasn't a ton of people there but my daughter got to play with her cousins so that always makes her really happy it was a really good week we were actually pretty busy this week we also went to my sister-in-law's house one night so that Rosie could play with her cousins as well so We've been, we've been pretty busy. I did some shopping today, so that's always fun for me. Worst moment of the week? Um, honestly, I can't really think of a terrible moment this week. And I can't even believe that I forgot to mention for best moment of the week, my daughter started school this past week, preschool. She is going in person. There, it's a very, very small class size. I, I believe here in Ohio it can only be up to nine kids anyways, but it is not even nine kids. It is very small. I'm very happy we decided to send her. It was a very hard decision for us to make, and she loves it so far, so I'm just so excited that we are sending her. I think it'll be really good for her. She really needs to be around kids her own age and learn how to share because she does not share <laughs> so but for worst moment of the week I honestly I can't think of anything it was a pretty good week miss anything yes I want a sub which I guess I could have put under cravings too but I miss like I don't even eat a ton of subs but I want a sub so bad <laughs> um I crave that with my daughter too. My whole pregnancy I wanted a sub and I believe it was the first thing I ate after I had her. Jeez, I want a sub so bad. What are you looking forward to? I am looking forward to this babe. It is like coming up so soon. Next month is my due date and time is just flying. I mean, and honestly you're considered 37 full term at 37 weeks. My doctor considers that full term anyways. I'm hoping we can get this baby out a little bit early. My daughter was a week late. So I'm gonna, at, when I turn 37 weeks, I'm definitely gonna start like trying to do things to induce labor. Maybe I'll hold off till 38 weeks. We'll see. I'll see what my doctor and my doula say. But I'm ready. So maybe baby will come in six weeks, 38 weeks. We'll see. <laughs> Rings on or off. They are still on. Belly button in or out. It is most definitely, definitely out at this point. Moody or happy. That's an easy one because I've been, it's been a really good week. So I'm definitely more happy this week. Now for my bump shot. I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It is like getting very gloomy out. So I'm sure the lighting's not the best. But anywho, here is this, what am I? I almost said 38 week bump. Jesus. 32 week bump with my shirt on. 
and from the front. I'll show you from the back because I've had recently, I've had so many people comment that you can't tell you're pregnant from the back. You're definitely having a boy, but yeah. Anyways, from the side, I feel like my stomach is like very narrow too. Like, I don't know if you could tell from, I don't know. The baby's just like right here. Like it's just, I am much lower than I ever was with my daughter though. She just was always so high. And I actually feel like I have like somewhat of a stomach still up here. So there's the bump. Should I draw a pumpkin on it like in October? <laughs> I've seen people do that, it's so cute. But that is it for my 32 week update. I hope you enjoyed it. We are getting so, so close. So please make sure that you guys are subscribed. I am going to try to film a labor and delivery video for you. So stay tuned. Hopefully it won't be for, you know, at least six more weeks. But anyways, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.